There are three main types of rock which are visible on the Earth's surface. Magmatic, sedimentary and metamorphic. We are going to do some basic triage and see if we can classify a rock sample. This sample is a reasonable size and has fresh surfaces. It feels very heavy, so the density is very high. It is hard and not friable. I cannot split it or break it by hand. Now the visual inspection. With the naked eye I can see the rock is very dark, nearly black, but not homogeneous. Some constituents sparkle when I move the rock. Some shine green, others black. They are distinct and some have recognizable crystalline shapes which indicates that they are minerals. These minerals make up about 15% of the rock and are scattered in a dark grey matrix. There is no obvious visible structure and the rock looks similar from all angles. Looking more closely at the minerals, we can see that they are all generally between 1 mm and 2 cm across. Let's get a closer look under the hand lens. There is a green to yellowish, glassy, translucent mineral that sticks out of the matrix with many curved fractures. When you look along the edges, it is possible to recognize its polygonal shape that varies between hexagonal and rhombus shaped. This is olivine. There is another mineral, black with flat surfaces reflecting the light. Its shape is near rectangular. This is augite, a type of pyroxene. Pyroxene has two directions of cleavage. These are planes of weakness in the crystalline structure at 90 degrees to each other. This explains the flat, shiny surfaces and sometimes it is even possible to see 90 degree features on the surface of the mineral. Between the minerals, the matrix appears grey and matte. We cannot distinguish any minerals. It could be glass, which is magma, that has cooled without forming any crystals. But the matrix has no glassy shine. This tells us that it includes microcrystals. Now for our conclusions. The mineral's crystalline shapes show us that they crystallized in magma. It is a magmatic rock. As it has a matrix, we can see that it has been part of a lava flow and thus is volcanic. It is a very dense, dark rock, partly crystallized, so it is a basalt.